Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Russell here. So I want to do another video uh, demonstrating how to do something on OBS or today's OBS learning. Now, uh, the differences between how to do something on OBS on Windows and OBS on Linux aren't generally night and day, but there are naturally some differences between different operating systems. And this is something I thought was actually really important, or I think monitoring audio is very important for whether you're using OBS to record or to do live streaming. So I wanted to just show these steps. Um, and as I mentioned on a lot of these videos, I do also record these for my own reference to if I forget how to do something. So uh, that's another reason for this. So let me just go and show you how to set up audio monitoring on um, Ubuntu OBS. Now, um, what I'm going to be doing is actually trying to get a two microphone, to monitor two microphones, right? So um, microphone one is the USB microphone that I'm wearing here on my, uh, on my shirt. And the second microphone would be, let's say we have another guest here in my home studio. Um, now, if you're going to be monitoring, then you're going to want some um, monitor headphones or just regular headphones. They don't have to be specifically studio headphones, um, but the, some interface that you don't want to monitor over, let's say, for example, the monitors in front of me here have HDMI speakers built into them. So that's typically what I actually use day to day, but I wouldn't want to put my monitor feed there because that would play back. So instead, I've got these studio headphones rigged up to the to the speakers and that's what I'm going to use so that there's no, the monitor feed is coming into my ears and that's not going to be picked up by the microphone and that would create a, a reverb channel. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, firstly, let's go over to our OBS. And this is a demo OBS, of course, not the one that is um, in front of me. And um, you can see here I have mic channel. This is the lavalier microphone, right? So let me now go ahead and attach that exciting second lav mic that I mentioned. That, that, that is in the USB port. Now, what I always recommend doing for OBS, or this is what I found helpful as I'm learning this, is to, um, is to basically always make sure that you check your levels, not just in OBS, but you actually have a look in Pulse Audio. And this is where the Linux uh, specific stuff is kind of coming in here. So um, I just like to make sure that the levels are working. Uh, firstly, the right devices are being assigned and everything is looking good uh, just on that basis. So let me now go into Pulse Audio here and take a look at what we've got running. And what we have running is as follows. So I can see, uh, now let's just check firstly. Yeah, the second test microphone, hang on, I need to move myself. This always happens. I need to find a, plan, plan my spot on the screen before I do this. So uh, this one at the bottom, AK5371, that's the test lav. This one above it, the Maono, is my the lav you're listening to on my lapel. And uh, the other best practice in inverted commas that I always recommend is to mute any channels you don't use because it just gets confusing. Now something else you can do in Pulse Audio is once you've got your OBS running, you can actually see the OBS recording channels and the hardware devices associated with each channel. Now the reason you see four, um, four times the same channel and I'm just gonna actually make sure here that I'm actually recording, yeah, I'm still recording in the Maono. So this is a bit perplexing because the OBS I'm recording into right now says I'm recording on Maono. Nope, and it's actually recording onto, onto the test one. So this is how finicky, this is how finicky. So I'm actually gonna manually override uh, this here. Yeah, and now you're listening to the actual uh, Maono, so you might've heard some kind of latency this is if you wanted just an easy way to test with a lav mic, I always just tap it. Uh, you probably you probably already already uh, come to the same conclusion. So um, this is now working. It's a good thing I went in to check because we had some difficulties. So I'm going to say mic aux should be this, and I'm going to just put that down but not away. So this mic aux channel here, um, I want that to be the lav mic actually. So I'm just going to check if we have the same issue. Now this is potentially because I added it mid. Um, during the recording session and that can have this effect of uh, creating problems. So mic, lav mic is the only audio source here. 
that says it's the Maono analog stereo, but yeah, I can see that's the test mic again. So I need to also fix this one. So this is, this is kind of a good example of where um, OBS is not actually reading off the right info from the sound card. So it's actually, that is, now this should be fixed. Now this should be, so now if I do my test, the levels are spiking in both my audio meters so that are actually getting from the USB. Now my next thing I want to do here is add the second mic and I'm doing all this before I even show how to, um, so I'm gonna go into this audio and for my mic auxiliary audio two, I want to associate this with the AK5371. Now this is a way that I now add secondary mics. I don't know if this is how you're always supposed to do it or it's acceptable to use the um, to use the just direct add audio, audio input source, but I've had these troubles the other way and this one's worked more reliably. So I'm just gonna do my tap test and you can see, did you see the mic aux two level just like shooting all the way up? So that's working, so I have my two levels, my lab mic and my guest mic, let's call it here, in OBS, and now I need to just figure out a way to set up a monitoring feed for them. Um, so now let me, let me show you how to do that. I'm just gonna figure out somewhere to, somewhere to, to, to pop myself while that process is, uh, is going on. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tuck, myself, tuck myself away here in the far recesses of the top left of the screen. Okay, so now you wanna click on the audio properties channel. And a little bit messy here, uh, but what you can see, there's a background channel I'm not using. There is lav mic that I'm also not using and mic aux. And I want to add actually firstly a second, 70 millisecond uh, latency on both those channels. And this is my, mic aux is my main lav mic and mic aux two is the test one, right? So I'm gonna put them both to monitor and output. Now, you're getting feedback. Now the reason you heard that horrible squelching noise was because, now if you do just monitor, monitor off is obviously there's gonna be no monitor. If you do monitor only, you're not actually going, you're gonna be hearing the monitor feed and not actually getting the microphone into OBS. So the one you're gonna want in virtually all instances is gonna be monitor and output, and the same thing. because I've configured my HDMI output as the fallback channel, they start monitoring there and that was that weird sound. But what I can do now is, so now I've got them to the right source and just to show you exactly what, what happens here or what you just saw happening, when I set up monitoring, I now get this playback channel in and it's automatically created in Pulse Audio, it's called OBS Monitor and there's actually a separate channel for each monitor feed. So I can put them to the same channel and hear them together, or I could actually uh, output each monitor feed to a separate playback device. So now, hopefully, when I put on my, um, my monitor headphones, because they're plugged into the computer and that's picking up on built-in audio analog stereo, hopefully now, once I listen to this, I'll be able to hear the monitor feed from, hear myself speaking. And uh, to do that, I would firstly need to make sure that, there we go, it's plugged in. Okay, so now it's great. I can hear myself, hear the monitor feed. And I'm getting some kind of a loop back. Let's try muting the test microphone. So now I'm only getting one monitor feed and that's gotten rid of that uh, loop. So there's a bit of latency in the second microphone. And as I'm speaking, I'm listening to the monitor feed and that's working perfectly. So I can just put that away now. So that's it uh, basically to set up a monitor in Ubuntu. It's not really any different from how you do it in OBS on different platforms. Uh, one thing to be aware of though, is that if you just for diagnostic purposes, make sure that the microphones that OBS thinks it's recording are really associated, associated with the correct hardware device. And once you've set up the monitor, monitor feed, in Pulse Audio, um, you will get a monitor playback channel for each monitor feed you've got running. And then you can just toggle the output device, you can mute them, you can do everything you want with them and change the levels here. Um, and if you have multiple microphones set up running in your OBS, 
you can choose to monitor all of them on the same device, let's say a pair of headphones, or you can put each microphone on its own monitor. If you had a few guests in your studio, you wanted to give each guest a, a different pair of headphones for monitoring, you can do that here as well. You just need to play around a bit with uh, Pulse Audio and everything can be done. Hope that video is useful. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to get more videos from me regarding everything to do with uh, OBS, OBS Studio and Linux and Technologies, then feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. channel.